Hello, this is Rob from RizikAd and RankIt.com. This is a quick video to show you how to change your search location on Google Chrome by overriding the geo coordinates location. So there is a lot of ranking uh, softwares out there uh, from Bright Local, Local uh, Falcon, um, and Local Viking, and there's a ton more or 10 more of them. Uh, and they're not actually very accurate. Um, if you actually check them manually by overriding the Google Chrome, it will show you how to do it actually. So let's jump into it and show you guys how to change that. First step, after you go to Google, open your Google Chrome. You're gonna go to the three dots on the top right where it says customize and control your Google Chrome. So this is the general settings. And then you scroll down to more tools and then you go to the developer tools. And after you click on the developer tools, um, we're going to look for the sensor tab. So we're going to click on the three dots right here. And then we're going to say show console drawer or click escape. And then on the bottom right here, it's going to show you the console drawer. So you click on the more tools on the three dots and then you click on sensors. So right here, it will give you the geolocation sensors uh, to override them on the Google Chrome. Now we're going to click on manage. And then you're going to click Add Location. And let's say we want to, I'm just going to go to Google Maps and try to find a geo coordinates for, to search for an SEO company in Chicago. So I'm just going to go to Chicago. And what you could do, just going to wait for it a little bit. All right, so let's say, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and go to this uh, on here on this intersection and right click on it and then click what's here. This is one way to get the geo coordinates of the exact location that you clicked on the map. Or you could click uh, copy the, the URL itself. It does have the, the, long, the latitude and the longitude on top. So I'm just going to copy the latitude first. And I'm going to name the location right here, Chicago. probably southwest but I'm just gonna put it you can name it whatever you want and we go to the longitude and we paste that number and so the time zone ID uh, here is Google Chrome time zone ID so we want to make sure that we can use the correct ID for the Google Chrome I know it's a central time, but I want to make sure that we have the correct. So it's US backslash central. So to use the exact code, we're just going to put US backslash central. Then we click add. So after adding the location, we're going to close this window. I'm going to scroll down to the sensor tab and click on the geolocation, scroll down and find out the last one that you added. And bingo, here is the latitude and the longitude for the last one that we used. And then let's say we're going to go to google.com. And let's search for Chicago SEO company. And then we're going to scroll down to make sure we are on the correct location, which is uh, this looks correct because I checked it earlier today. But if your location is not correct right here, there's a button that says use a precise location. You can click on it or you're going to click on update location. So as soon as you update it, it's a, it's a blue button right here. And you crawl back up, refresh the page, and it will give you the results. And these are the results um, based on the coordinates that you chose. Uh, so now, this is saved to so any time uh, if you're running this campaign, you could any time change that location, overwrite it on the Google Chrome and check it. Uh, what I like to do sometimes is uh, check in on a different, I add like a, a three or four different uh, locations on on uh, on google chrome uh, from the south side uh, east and north let's say this way it will give me more uh, detailed results thank you for watching hopefully this was helpful for you guys and if you have any other questions please uh, let me know thanks